Quite a few cars down there today, haven't they? Look at them all down that road. It's whether it goes down or up, isn't it? Like for braking with it. The nose is going down. Yeah. There must be 20 cars down there. It was busy when I was down there. Yeah. Super busy. Surprisingly so, somewhere. There weren't that many when I arrived. I thought I thought there'd be a load before dinner, they'll work it off and then go home and have dinner. Seems to be like constantly busy all day. Yeah. Come up coming up there, there were kids sledging down. They were but we out sledges. Yep, Lovely. and we out snow. The parents, you could hear it was like about four or five families, they were, they were dragging the kids down by the back of the clothes, sliding them down. They didn't even have a black bag in it or anything. They were just, thought they'd have grass burn, wouldn't they? Grass burns as well, right enough clothes too. Level, DLG right. would have been ideal today. Yeah. The blaster. Let's see what happens if I give it. In. Just need to. I did. I, I have picked myself up a little one meter mold in the build. Yeah. Little thing to see how that goes. Is it? That's what it's called. Little thing. No, no. I can't remember what it's called. Hmm. I can't remember what it's called. It's not called little thing. They used to have a model called a little bit. Have you heard of one of them? Little what? Little bit. No, I haven't actually. It's a flat, it's just like a straight wing. It looks like the tailplane off a, a scale glider, like that sort of size. Yeah. Imagine like a rectangular block built up and then a, a round fin yeah. and a box fuselage. And I saw it in Blackburn models for a fiver. This is about 20 odd years ago. And I um, thought, oh, I'll buy it. My son says, what are you going to do with that, Dad? It looks like a tailplane. So I don't, I don't know, I just bought it. He says, make it electric, you know, just as electrics were coming out sort of thing. So I had some like 500 ARs and a, a, so it might be 25 years ago, Speed 400. And I went to Blackpool flying. I got it flying. People are saying, what's that? I says, I don't know. Then, Have you heard of Chris Martindale? No. Yes. He he went. Yes. Oh, that's a little bit, Tony. I says I, I hadn't a clue what it was. He says he said he had a few built. They were for a Cox engine originally. And then um, mate says to me, he says, "Oh, I can see you're struggling to launch. Do you want me to launch for you, Tony?" I went, "Yeah, all right." So he threw it and he threw it into the deck. Oh no. And there was because it was built up wing and bits. There were bits all over and Chris Martindale's son says dad look the little bits little bits <laughs> in little bits and I had my camper van then I went in and I got the super glue out and I got it all back together again and I launched it myself and I flew it around bring it around my house I want to see what you're using and all this lot for a, a scale model you know the electric it was just only bog standard 400 6 volt yeah he used to do lightnings and things like this, and uh, but he used to put the engine on the back <laughs> because the nose isn't spoilt then. And he did a Lancaster with four just freewheeling propellers. I don't have enough height or speed to do rolls and things and loops. Or, you said it, it looks yeah. like a fish. Well, I mean. That's kind of the point of the name of it, isn't it? That is it's it? The, the eye or whatever, because that is a tuna. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know that, right? Yeah, it's a... Uh... An 
aeroplane. Oh, Dad, look, an aeroplane in the sky. To your left now, but left, Dad. How far will it fly, mister? some down in. You try and do it afterwards. Wind's coming back up. <laughs> <laughs> 